so today marks the start of my winter gear shopping so i decided i'll go to yorkdale mall which is a bigger shopping center and i haven't been there so i thought i'll just go there and see what i can find i don't know i'm going to shop a lot so i'm going to take you and i'll also give you all the details about what you should look for in winter shopping and right now we are at um, king street station the trains here so let's go From Yorkdale station to Yorkdale shopping center is like a straight path which is heated which is super cool and if you see behind me that's the station and I'm going towards the shopping center and this is like so convenient. My first stop is Sport Check and I'm here to look for winter jackets. So with winter jackets there are a few things that you need to keep in mind before buying it and I gathered all, the, all this information like on, from YouTube videos and by searching on Google. It should have a hood with a fur and the fur should be deta detachable so you can like wear it with or, with or without the fur. What the, what the fur does is it breaks the wind so your face doesn't get uh, frostbite. <laughs> the winter jacket should be having uh, down fur. I know a lot of people don't like animal stuff but down fur is really heavy and keeps you very warm um, it, if the filling is between six to eight hundred that's the best then you have like the warm for minus 30 minus 40 degrees and a lot of winter jackets just show you right on the uh, label they tell you how um, how many degrees it can sustain it should also be waterproof and if you get like a little longer jacket to keep your bumps covered that way you will be like warm throughout the harsh winters you know the perks of being short i can drop a short jacket as a long one <laughs> But yes, I got. Uh, I'm ordering this jacket in uh, this color. So basically, uh, you just place an order, then they ship it to your place because I love that brown. Um, and uh, it's two hundred twenty-five dollars, which is okay compared to the other winter jackets I have seen. I've seen like thousand above, so this is pretty good. Um, and that one is minus 20, 20 degrees. Uh, it looks very cool on me. And then, and it is also water repellent, so like for light snow. It does not have a fur, but I'm looking. I'm still looking. I'm not going to get one winter jacket. I'll get a couple. I'm trying the Columbia now because they are actually very functional and they make jackets for um, like adventures and expeditions. So, Mm, no, waterproof for me. Yeah. It looks nice and it should be a little bit roomy as well because I want to layer up with sweaters and thermals underneath this. So definitely I need a little bit of room. But this has a little, little extra room I feel like. Columbia jackets are like insulated. So and we were told that it has about 650 duct filled, which can keep you warm. So yeah, make sure that the jacket you're getting covers your neck as well. It's not as nice. I'm not getting either of the two because the Columbia one I'm not sure about and the North Face one which I like, they don't have my size. I'm sad. I'm not getting anything. I found a store called Sporting Life and they have got a large collection of winter jackets from every single brand, like high-end to affordable ones as well. So I'm gonna try a few and basically this is exactly what we are looking for fur, hood, um, water repellent and let's see how much it is. It's thousand dollars so definitely I'm not buying it <laughs> but okay I saw a Makash jacket on sale which is like a very high-end brand. If you come here it's on sale for $829 and it covers up to minus 30. Thank you and we're gonna go and check out some jackets. Canada Goose is the best place you could find a winter jacket because they are they specialize in this kind of stuff but it's expensive so I don't know if I find something 
good, like a good deal. I would definitely get it, but. I don't feel a little bit, even a little bit of cold um, in this. Same. It's expensive. So I'm in the store called B2 and looking for winter boots. Uh, they, there are special winter boots over here that you need to have to walk on snow. And it needs to be like with proofs and it should be with insulation like far inside leather waterproof not like the technic not technically leather but it should be waterproof so i'm looking at a brand called sorel which was recommended and i'll show you how it is yeah. these timberlands uh, from a store called browns and they are waterproof uh, they are i think suede and they are insulated from inside with fur um, and they're two hundred dollars, and I really like how it looks on my foot because it's it do, it's not looking bulky; it's just looking like the perfect size. So I think I'm gonna get this one. So my first winter boot done. Yay! That's all we got today. Well, that's not all, but like we got our snow boots, winter accessories, scarves, hats, not gloves. But yeah, it was not a productive day because we were. I was looking for jackets and I could only find one in Aritzia, which is also not a parka, it's a short bomber jacket. There isn't much New Yorkdale mall, it's like a very high end mall with a lot of brands, uh, like designer brands Chanel, Gucci, LV, Versace, like that kind of brand. And there's like in affordable ones, you just have HM over there, and I think so. It's like a waste of time because I could have gone somewhere else. But yeah, it's good to see what's available there. But I, I was like very sad because I could not find my jacket. And whatever was there was like either they don't have a size or they look very ugly. I'm not gonna get those. So tomorrow we go again and try to find another jacket for me. Good morning, one more new day, and we are heading to Warnville's today. So it's an outlet shopping mall where there are apparently a lot of stores. Well, I found a shuttle bus that goes from downtown to one mills and it's free it's a round trip and it's free it runs during summer and a few days in winter i'll give you all the details but i'm just trying to see if i can catch the shuttle bus or not so basically you have to come to 123 front street west and there's a guy in red t-shirt who is basically writing writing down the names of the people who are going there this is a special shuttle service from down to toronto to one mills and it's free but it's on a first come first of basis so you want to reach early to register your names and to avoid disappointment because it, it can get full most it's on weekends only Friday, Saturday, Sunday but yeah, we are here, hopefully we'll get there Hello, Hello. 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 already and a lot of people recommended me to come here to shop for winter gear because most things are always on discount this is like a direct factory outlet that we have in Sydney Homebush TFO uh, and yeah this is let's see how the discounts are over here and what we get okay I'm in North Face and everything is like 40% off but the problem is again the stock is for women um, there's only one grey parka jacket and otherwise it's all pink and not many styles but men's wear is pretty nice so if you can pull off a men's jacket you'll be sorted North Face is really really good for men
same colors, different styles. But I like both. Okay, this is a really nice and tempting shop, and I feel like I want to get every single shoe I'm trying, so God save me. pretty warm it's made for minus 40 and I'm feeling actually very hot in this <laughs> do you think this looks nicer it's also minus 40 but that felt warm like really really warm There are a lot of different outlet stores in here, including Eddie Bauer, Mon uh, Mountain Warehouse, Asics, JD Sport, and a lot more. And Mountain Warehouse is probably the cheapest place you can find all your winter needs from. So let's check this place out. first proper winter jacket which is very heavy duty so I got it in mountain warehouse it's very functional and it looks really nice when you put it on uh, it has a hooded fur a hood covers my neck it's long so it covers my bum it's also down filled which is breathable water resist it covers minus 50 degrees of temperature and it is hot I can feel the heat and it is also waterproof so you can wear it in snow and it says mountain warehouse extreme so this is a great place to shop for winter gear if you are, you are on a budget and this is a very nice jacket i think the best ones i, ha I have tried out of all the places i've tried at i've been trying at different places and i really like this one so yes this is a yes so i found this uh, store in fairview mall called urban behavior Everything I picked up is less than $30 and they have like uh, price points of 3 for $15, nothing over $10. So this is a great place to shop if you want to like come and check out. I'll give you a tour. another jacket it's not winter because it's just insulated and it's waterproof so this is for light snow if you want to layer up with something and that's how it looks it's in Eddie Bauer they have got great sales like see 25% off 30% off and they have a massive collection like look at their store Okay, what I would suggest you to do is drop everything and come to Winners in Outlet Mall because there are all the brands over here. They might be like a little old stock, but they are new and they are pretty good. They do the job and if you are on a budget, definite, definite must visit because you'll get really good stuff at really good price. so many things and I feel like I have accomplished something today so if you really want to buy winter gear definitely recommending one mills and then I hope this is my last store I'm in North Face last store of the day picking up one last jacket and then 
will be good to go. I, I'm still left with one pair of knee-high boots that I really want to get. Uh, but I'm not really finding anything good in here that I like absolutely love. So I'm gonna skip that today and I'll get it some other day from some other store. But there is so much to do here. Like you cannot see all of the shopping center in one day. It's massive. Like I think we did one third of the whole shopping center and we could not go like we were going at one direction and then could not finish that direction we came back and now we're just strolling around doing the last things and then we'll head out it was such a tiring day but this is this was a nice productive one okay we were supposed to take the 3 p.m bus back but we missed it because we could not finish our shopping but 6 p.m. bus, we got it. There's space, so we are taking this and going back home. I was thinking that we will need to get an Uber because we have a lot of stuff. I think six bags and then bags inside those bags. So we shopped a lot.